Hello everybody and this is Mad Marshman with Game Dev Tycoon again, so off we go. News, the latest game from Marshoft has received very positive reviews overall. Star Games gave it a 10 saying outstanding achievement. If Marshoft continues to innovate like this they might become a new fan favourite. Okay. And I've completely forgot what I'm researching. Oh yeah, a new topic. And the sales are still rolling in. In two months the G64 will be taken off the market. Okay. Okay. You have successfully researched a new topic, sci-fi. Sell half a million copies of a game without the help of a publisher. We got word that Final Fantasy IV, which a uh, Fatal Fantasy IV, which was recently released by Marshoft, has racked up over half a million sales. Competitors have been observed muttering jealous remarks. That's what we like to hear. So we are going to develop a new game. And we have our new topic, science fiction. And it will be an action game. And we're going to aim at, we're going to put it on the gameling, so we're going to aim it at the young, because they like them. We're going to use our new game engine. And we are going to try and remember to tick all the boxes this time. Off we go. We're going to have top right graphics. Right, this is an action game. We want a save game. We want to be able to use the gamepad. We want some nice cutscenes. Yeah, let's go all out and have a linear story as well. Good engine, on excellent gameplay. And we'll have a, some stories. Quests. This game shouldn't cost too much to develop. I say too much. It's going to cost more than normal. Mm, do we need a level editor? Yeah, we'll we'll leave one in. Not massive dialogues. Good level design. Good artificial intelligence. Design or good levels anyway. We want best graphics we can have and quite good sound. Mm, we'll have mono sound. We won't have an open world because I think we've got a linear story. So that would contradict each other if we didn't. Final Fantasy, unfortunately, is off the market. It's over half a million sales, nearly four and a half million credits. Hardware manufacturers around the world were surprised today as Govador, the creator of the popular G64, has failed for bankruptcy. Govador failed to introduce a higher priced alternative and was forced to shut down production of the G64. The platform will retire from the market later this month. Right, we're still at 4.4 million. Looks like we're going to hit some new records in design and technology. The G64 is no longer supported. You've released four games for the platform and earned a total of half a million credits. Well, uh, we made the most of the G64 while it was there. I loved mine in real life. It's an excellent little machine. There's got to be two new records. Yes, new topic, new combo. And a great combo. Fingers crossed for star battles. Graphics are up to level 2, excellent. Let's release this game. game the first reviews for Star Battles are in. It's looking low. Looking low. Mm, we don't need low when we spent all this money on it. Oh dear. It's going to be a steady 6. Is a steady 6. Okay, not so good. We're going to research marketing because that could help us a lot. We're going to start research on that. Game history. Now, how is this? 
still not functioning properly. Okay. Don't know why that is. Maybe because I'm not in full screen. I'm not going to change to full screen while I'm recording. Congratulations, you have made quite a name for yourself and have saved up a lot of capital. If you want to grow the community further, we've been asked again. Let's move. If, if a bankrupts us, a bankrupts us. You have successfully unlocked marketing. You can access marketing options in the action menu, but only while the game is in development. Okay. Welcome to your new office. You now have a bigger office and you can also hire staff and forge a world-class development team to make even better games. Okay. You now may also train yourself and your staff to improve skills. Let's try this by completing a management course which is required before you can hire your first employee. To get started, close this message and click on your character to bring up the training menu. Train. Staff management. What else we got? Oh, all sorts. Right, so he needs to do that. Is Star Battles bringing up in enough to pay the rent? We're now our rent has now gone up from eight thousand a month to thirty-two thousand. Right, well done. You've successfully completed your management course. You are now able to hire your first employee. Before you can hire someone, you have to advertise the open position. Set an advertising budget and decide how you want to test your applicants. The higher budget will increase the number of applicants, and the different tests will be help find people with the right balance of design and technology skills. Budget. Less spend. Oh, that's a, quite over 250k on advertising. That's ridiculous. Filter applications, game demo. Okay, let's find some staff. It seems that Marshoft has recently moved into an office in a well known technology park and is now searching for employees. The company, which is known for games such as Fatal Fantasy 4 and Tennis, has reportedly operated out of a garage until now. One of the many fans of Fatal Fantasy IV commented, I can't believe that they didn't even have a proper office until now, and those games were created only by one person. I'm really looking forward to their future games. The search for the open position is complete. You can now review the list of applicants and hire someone for the position. Don't forget you can always train your employees to improve their skills. Okay, we've got Dino Watty. Level 3, Speed 347, Research. 348 design and technology 24 grand a month Janice Norris not so good but cheaper <coughs> Valerie Brady I think Dino Watty is our man is it more expensive than the other two but he is more Valerie Definitely Dino. We're going to hire Dino. Famous. We have hired someone famous. Congratulations on your first hire. New employees have to settle in before they become fully effective. When a carrier, carrier, when a character is not fully effective, efficient, you can see an efficiency bar next to them. This bar will fill up slowly over time. It's usually a good idea to give your new staff a welcome training to get them up to speed quickly. This will maximise their efficiency way faster than normally. To do this, close this message and then click on the character to bring up the action menu. New research available, medium games. Right, so we're going to train him. Some staff welcoming training. Staff welcome training. Might cheer him up a little bit. So we need to click on ourselves now I'm guessing for re we got any research points. So we aren't going to do any research. Star Battles is now off the market. Sold 42,000 units, made nearly a third of a million, okay. We need lots more. So what does this man do now? He can research or train. 
we can research or train. So now if we develop a new game, do we do it together? Let's pick a topic. Let's have a sci-fi. We've not had a sci-fi yet. It's going to be an adventure. We're going to aim at the young. It's going to definitely be on the gameling. It's going to be Game Engine 1, because that is our game engine. Sci-Fi, and it's going to be called... Oh. Typing is terrible, they are... Among... Us. Next. Yep, we're going to have top flight graphics. Right, so game engine, game play is important. This is. We're going to have all those, yes, we are. It's an adventure game. So we're both working on it now. We want some dialogue for our adventure game. Artificial intelligence level design has got to be good. Cash flow is going down, so we really need to release a good game. We seem to be a lot faster with two of us. Well design is quite important. We'll turn the sound down a bit. We're running a good graphic engine, so we want... We're going to have an open world in, in our adventure. Give the player a little bit more... A little more scope for what they want to do. Well, we must have hit new records here, easily. Boss, I've discovered that some really dedicated fans of Fatal Fantasy 3 have created a fan game using a lot of material from our game. They don't make any money with it and just seem to do it for fellow fans. Our legal advisors strongly suggest that we shouldn't allow this to go on. What do you want us to do? We're going to let them be if they're not making any money out of it. And they just like us. We took ours off the market, so who cares? Wouldn't be nice if that's how it worked. Hi, I'm Denise Reed, the main developer of Fatal Fantasy 3 fan game. I've recently been informed that your legal department has advised you to stop us, and I just wanted to say that I'm very grateful that you didn't. Marshsoft is the best company in the world, and I'm glad I can be part of the fan community. You have gained 264 fans. Well, we got something out of being nice. Right, let's finish this game up, new records all round, new combo, great combo, we're leveled up on the gameplay, leveled up on level design, not quite on the graphics, not quite for me, Dino Watty has got a few more points, let's release this baby, new research available character progression. Okay, so you're my design man. You can research medium games. Our first review for our new resist game came in. They are among us. Oh, I saw a ten. Nine. Let's have another, another hit game we can do with a cash influx here. Nine. Give me a nine or a ten. Another nine, almost perfect. You heard it. Research. Character progression. What's going on? I obviously don't have the points to do that. We'll have a new topic. Evolution. Search that. <coughs> Excuse me. Mayor Among Us isn't piling the money in as I thought it would be. Hi, Mad Marshman. I have followed the progress of Marshsoft for a while, and it seems that you and your recent expansion. You have started developing larger games. Larger games deserve to be seen by more people and this is where a publisher can come in handy. A publisher will market and publish your game around the world. 
They will also help fund development in return. They keep most of the profits, but since the game will sell a lot more, it's usually still worth it. I can put you in touch with some publishers so you can look at some available contracts. Just let me know. Jasmine Droke. Okay, Jasmine. But that has reminded me we have forgotten to do any marketing. Find publishing contract has been unlocked. It is accessible in the actions menu. Okay. Right. What can we try in this guy? If you want to create hit games and have a world class team, when training is important for best result, train your staff regularly, but don't overwhelm them with too many sessions at once. There are different training options available. Some options are better to increase certain skills than others. Experimenting is the best way to figure out which training options fit your plans. It is useful to have a mix of specialists and all-rounders in your team, but aim to have at least one design specialist and one technology specialist. Dino Watt he is definitely our design specialist. So he could do game design for pirates. Vega has, an, Vena has announced that they will release a new gaming console in two months. The Vena or Vena or Vena, it's going to be Vena, the name is Sega Oasis, comes with 16 bit graphics and sound, which promises a new kind of gaming experience. Well, there's the Mega Drive for you. Vena said at the announcement, the Oasis is a new start. It will be the genesis of a new generation of gaming consoles, and we believe it will be well in the market. Some of the games already announced for the console suggest that it will appear to be to more mature audiences. Okay, I suppose I was an adult and left home when I bought mine. So, what are you doing? You could do with training yourself up. Game Dev Gems, don't know what that's about, but we're going to do that anyway. Staff list. Okay. You can hire up to four employees in this office. Don't try to hire everyone at once. The staff are expensive. Many rookies hire too early and go bankrupt. It's best to take it slow. Okay. Right, we're not going to hire anyone yet. We'll take their advantage. We still can't look at game history. Are these guys still training? Must be. Game off the market, they are among us, sold 88,000, generated just over half a million in sales. Okay. So I think we are ready. We are ready to develop a new game. So we want evolution. It's going to be a simulation. going to be on the game link. It's going to use Game Engine 1. It's going to be a small game. And we're going to aim it at the young again. Even though I'm old. Right, simulation. Mm, yeah, I think so. You understood that. Mm. Today, the new game platform Vena Oasis Vena has been released. Vena has been released. Right, we'll finish this game up. Dialogues, a few. Artificial intelligence. Yeah. Level design important. Money's going down slightly. Design quite important. Graphics, sound. Yeah, I think we'll have that sort of mix. We didn't even give it a name. Look, game 13. Never mind. I'll blame Dino Watty for that and sack him if he does it again. 
Right, we've finished that game. We'll have a look at the scores. Not a great... Yes, we did get the great combo as well. Right, we levelled up. I've levelled up. Dino's got a little bit better. We're going to release this game and we're going to call that the end of the episode. So we got Versatile, versatile released a successful game, didn't have a time to read it. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.